hey guys welcome back to another channel so today i'm going to do a kohl's try on haul now i know kohl's ain't as popular as other stores like rainbow fashion nova shein you know but i think that kohl's have a lot of his hidden treasures when it comes to clothes so i'm going to show you guys that you know as black woman curvy black woman we can still fit into kohl's clothes and they are clothes are their clothes are cute Kohl's clothes. Their clothes are very cute and fashy. Fashy. What's fashy exactly? Oh my god, I can't talk. So stay tuned. Okay, so so for this first look. I feel like this look is more like a uh, business type, casual type look. So you know this shirt, I got this shirt in a size medium. It does run kind of big, I think. Um, I did get it in a medium, I think I should have gotten it in a small. It was $30, but I believe it was on sale, let me just check the receipts. These pants was $44, and this shirt was $30. I need to look at the receipt because with Kohl's, there's always sales. People go into Kohl's, they look at the store, they look at the um, tags that are on the clothes, and they be like, "Woo, I'm not paying this money," and they walk out of Kohl's. For, with Kohl's, you need to look at that little, you know, the little banner there. If I'm there, I was probably trying to take a picture and insert it for you. But there's a little banner that shows sales clearances, blah blah blah. So with Kohl's, I don't know why they do this. I don't know why they don't just tag their clothes with the right prices but they'll put $44 on a on a clothes tag and then on the banner it says original price 44 sale price 32 or whatever you pay 32 or whatever it is that they have on the little digital banners the gray and black banners so just pay attention like where you buy these clothes on that rack wherever you get the clothes there's gonna be a banner somewhere that shows the sale price. So go by that price. Don't go by the price that you see on the tag. I don't know why Kohl's does this. It just confuses the shoppers. Just put the regular prices there. Or put the sale. You know how in other stores they'll put a little ticket over the tag? If you just put the little ticket sale over this original tag with the sale price ticket sticker, it'll be so much easier for your customers and you won't lose um, as much customers. And I feel like Kohl's is a great store and it's not that expensive. It's just that prices to scare people. They think that Kohl's is too expensive. But yes, as a black girl, you can shop at Kohl's as well. The Kohl's do fit. Some of their clothes do fit very well. Some of their clothes, like their jeans, I don't know. Let me know if you've had other experiences with their jeans at Kohl's. But their jeans don't fit me right. Their jeans are straightforward. You have to have no shape at all to fit their jeans. Okay. So, these pants were $44. You see, look at, I'm gonna show you this, look at. Every single thing I picked up today is an item price and then there's a sale price. So this goes to show you, do not look at the tags. When you go to Kohl's, I hope it focuses. Do not look at the tags. When you go to Kohl's, pay attention to the banners. Okay, so let me look for this. This These pants that I tried on, let me start the, my little fashion video, inserted somewhere over here or something. These pants that I've tried on with this shirt, I got the shirt in a size medium, and I got the pants in a size large, even though it's stretchy, but the large fit me actually pretty very well. Um, so these pants were, $44 on the ticket. And there's no sale price. So besides these pants, everything else is on sale that I bought. So these pants were $44. Which is, I mean, you could wear these to work. You could wear these to an outing. You know, they're kind of like jogger style. They're tight at the bottom, straight-legged. But then they're loose at top, 
they got pockets they got you know a tie belt here look at me trying to justify why this item was not on sale and it's cute they're cute pants you know besides them not being on sale 44 dollars is a bit expensive but you know the, the pants are cute they're very cute and they're, they're baggy and they're stylish and you could have them for a very long time all right so the shirt like i said the shirt is reasonable nice little knit shirt so for the shirt the shirt was 30 dollars And I paid $24.99. The shirt was $30 and I paid $24.99 for this shirt, which is not bad. All right, so for the next item, let me go in my little goodie bag. I actually love this jumpsuit. This jumpsuit can be worn in the spring, summer, the fall, you know, with a nice like jean jacket over it. I could have put that on to model for you guys, but I did not. But this was really cute and I loved it. And look at the bottom. It's all flurry in the bottom. This is very cute. And I feel like the flowers, you don't have to wear this in the spring or summer. I feel like with the flowers, you can wear this in the fall too. It doesn't just shout spring, summer only. So this, I got this in a size extra small. Okay, so this, because of the material and everything, and I feel like if I got a medium or large, it would have been extra long down to my feet. And this is so, so stretchy that I can fit it extra small. Okay, I can be extra small for a day. Okay, so I paid... How much did I pay for this? For this jumpsuit I paid. You see, this is why I should have just ripped these things on the receipt in order. So that way I'm not taking forever to tell y'all how much I paid. Okay. So for this, I paid $48 for this. The price ticket on this was $48 and I paid $34.99 that's not bad $34.99 and you could wear this all year round pretty cute and with multiple colors you know you could wear different color shoes I would say black or something or white but it's all up to you blue yellow whatever it's all up to you all right that is that so for the next item, I liked this one. I loved this one. I don't know why I said liked. I loved this, this, this outfit. So this outfit came with, so this is a um, jumpsuit, um, what do you call these things? Onesie or whatever they're called, you know. I forget what they're called. And um, so this goes inside the shirt and these type of shirts, are perfect to wear with pants like these they are perfect to wear with pants like these because pants like these are flurry you know they're still tight around the bum bum but they're flurry and they're loose and it's perfect to wear with a tight shirt like this so this shirt I got in a size medium and this pants I got in a size medium as well and this shirt was listed for drum roll please $26. The shirt was listed for $26 and I got it for $22.99. And these pants was listed for $40 and I got it for $29.99. So that is not bad. You know, and these, these clothes will last you a lifetime because it's cold. You know what I'm saying? So it's not cheap clothing it's still clothes so I get it it's still a little bit expensive you know $24.99 $26.99 I get it but you can wear these for a long time as long as your weight doesn't change or fluctuate or whatever you have these clothes for a while the clothes material with their clothing is very nice very nice 
So it's worth it. It's an investment. It's worth it. Every once in a while, buy yourself some nice clothes that last longer than Primark or whatever. And don't get me wrong. I love Primark and I will be doing a Primark try and haul soon. But with Primark, their clothes last me about two, one and a half years, maybe, I would say. A year, a year and a half. And then, like, I got holes in it and stuff like that. So, you know, it fits the price, though. Because then I'm paying, you know, a shirt like this at Primark would be probably $10. No, yeah, probably like 10 bucks. But then, you know, next year I have a hole in it. So, so this next outfit, this next outfit was so cute. Nice, simple, white, plain shirt with the skirt. You know, you could wear it with a black shirt with the skirt, a gray shirt with the skirt so it doesn't matter I chose white just because like I said before in my other videos my other try on hauls that white clothes look really good on me not white clothes but white and light lighter color clothes look good on me because I am a dark skinned black woman so for the shirt I paid the shirt was listed for $20 and I paid $17.99 and the skirt was listed for $26 and I paid $22.99. That is not bad as well. Not bad. Alright, so this next outfit is I like it. So this outfit is a nice, you know, simple plaid dress. That you could wear with a jean jacket. I prefer a darker jean jacket for this dress. I mean, it goes with almost everything. I love the material, the color. I think the only thing is that you would have a hard time finding shoes to go with this. But even some like navy blue boots, or if you're if you're wearing this in the fall, or like some navy blue sandals, or even whites. You can't go wrong with white because there's a lot of white stitching in this. Um, you know, it has some buttons in the front which is cute, it has a little tie belt in the middle, cover that stomach a little bit. It comes with some extra buttons and stuff, just in case if you lose one of the buttons in the front. And the price that I paid for it was, it was listed for $48. And the price that I paid for it was $34.99. So that is not bad. It saved about $14 with the sale price. And like I said, this, I wish you guys could feel this material because this material is nice and thick. And it will last a long time. You will not get holes in this. You will not tear this easily. It is not cheap material. This is why you pay what you pay at Kohl's because their materials last a lifetime. So, yes. So this skirt, this dress was one of my faves as well. It's not too short. You know, I am a older woman. It is not too short. I got my booty cheeks hanging out. And at the same time, it's not too long where I'm looking like an old lady. Give me old lady vibes. So, yes, I loved this dress. All right, so all in all, you know, you will save a lot of money shop with clothes. Just look at the banner. Don't look at the price tag on the clothing. Always look at the banner. There is some banner somewhere. Usually everything is on sale. Um, Kohl's is all over Massachusetts. Um, there are in other states as well. You will need to Google it to find out where in your state Kohl's is. But just don't think that it's a store for white girls. You know, I'm a black woman and I shop there too. And their clothes are really decent and they last a lifetime. You know, every once in a while you want clothes that's going to last you longer than a year and a half. You know, Rainbow's, Primark and all them stores, they're cool and all, but... If the, if the clothes ain't lasting you, next year you're going out and buying, you know, those same sweatpants again because you got them at six for $6 at Primark. But now this year they got a hole in it somehow and the material's all falling off and there's little, like, lint things on it and stuff like that. It's worth the investment of just buying, like, a decent pair of shirt or pants at Kohl's or, you know, other decent stores. But... No, not Primark. Primark is cool. I love Primark. I love Rainbow. I love all my cheap stores for my cheap clothing. But I feel like those stores are only good for like one time wears. One or two time wears before they start just messing up on you. Especially when you're washing them. And you're doing your laundry often. So yes, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul. 
Please subscribe for more content related to saving money, finance, um, shopping, anything that you can think of. I do it all here on Sackly Smiles. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye.